For thousands of years, people have been searching for the answer to life's most important question. What happens to us when we die? We too are searching for that answer. We are. We are. By the state of paranormal. Springs Hotel, Alton, Illinois, May 31st, 2008, by State Paranormal Overnight Investigation. Our setup started at 9.42 p.m., where we placed four infrared night vision cameras throughout the building, one in the pool, one in the back hallway, one in the ballroom, and one in the slaughterhouse. Our investigators for the night included Scott, Casey and Christy, Heather, Eddie, Tony, and our investigators in training, Brendan and Kathy. The investigation started at 11 p.m. Throughout the evening, we broke up into small groups and did a thorough investigation of the fall property. We conducted EVP sessions, we took hundreds of photographs, and we took hours and hours of video footage. And we caught a mist down in the slaughterhouse area that lasted for nearly 11 minutes. We also caught a few orbs on camera, which we do not believe in, but they're impressive enough that we are going to show you. It's so warm in here. It smells really bad. Yep. It ain't pleasant. It's so warm in here. It smells really bad. Yep. It ain't pleasant. Yeah. If somebody wants to push me in and it's not one of you three, I'm good. I'll survive. Push him. If somebody wants to push me in and it's not one of you three, I'm good. I'll survive. Push him. So I'm actually in that room right there. What? So I'm actually in that room right there. What? I thought I heard a noise behind can't talk in the red recorder, throw that bucket around. If you can't talk in the red recorder, throw that bucket around. Who effing threw something? I'm not even sure. Hold on, wait a minute. I want to know one thing right now. Breathe out like that. It wasn't me. I'm not hitting you. Someone just went. Ah. I sweat a lot. I sweat a lot. I sweat a lot. We'd like to know your name. We'd like to know your name. There's just all these lights on, and they have these things like. Oh my God, was that? There's just all these lights on, and they have these things like. Oh my God, was that? The time right now is 2:09, and as you're watching this, you'll slowly see the, the mist form. And here it comes now. The mist is forming in the in the basement. It's starting to kick up from the right side to the left side, going across the the camera lens. This is the only time it happens all night long. This it gets heavy right here. That it is exactly 2:09 and 57 seconds right now. And we're watching this in two times speed. Now this continues on for six minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up to 16 times speed for you. It is now 211, 212, 213, 214, 215. All right, and as as well, it's 2:14 and 47 seconds. Now, as you're watching this, the fog slowly or mist slowly starts to, to um, not dissipate, but slow down. I'm going to speed it back up to two times speed. It is now 2.15 and 10 seconds. Fog is still going from right to left. And you have to remember, this never happened the rest of the night. This is the only time. We were there for eight or nine hours, and this never happens the rest of the night. Right at this point is 2.15 and 50 seconds, and the mist is slowly, you can tell it's slowly turning towards the camera, and now it is just about turned around, and now it starts going the opposite direction. It is 2.16 and 20 seconds, and now the mist has completely changed directions, and now it is going the opposite direction as it was before. Now I'm going to speed this up 16 times speed 
And as you can tell, it continues on. It's now 218, 219, 220, 221. Now I'm going to slow it back down, and the mist is still going. And there was no investigators in the basement anywhere. Everyone was upstairs. There was nothing around to even make this a, this happen. That entire room is sealed off. This camera was placed in the far corner to where there was no air or anything that could even get to the camera. I'm going to speed it back up now. Now it's at 16 times speed. Now this is normal speed. And you can see it's starting to slowly dissipate. And by 224, you can just see very little remnants of it, but now it is completely back to normal, where this is pretty much what we saw most of the night. Absolutely nothing going on down there. And like I said, this was the first time we've ever had a camera down there, and, and this is what we caught. It was we bought a spool of 500 foot of cable to be able to get this camera down there and I must say I'm very impressed by what we caught I think it was totally worth it and what you're seeing now is pretty much what you'll see the rest of the night there's nothing else going on down there but I figured you can, we can't explain the mist but it is our job to at least show you the mist so there it was this would be another one of those instances where we're not really big on orbs but this camera was here all night long and this was be one of the only ones that it caught that was this pronounced. And if you didn't catch it here it comes back in reverse. It's a pretty well defined orb and at the time this happened we were asking for a sign of, a, of, their, of the spirit's presence and this is what we caught. As for what it is it's probably just dust. All right, for all you people that love orbs, as you can tell, this is a very dusty room, but there it comes, comes down, goes over, and then drops out of frame. Now, as, at the time, this is it in reverse. At the time, this orb, uh, our investigators were asking for a sign of their presence, of the spirit's presence, and this is what they caught, but. This is a very dusty building, and this orb is interesting. It comes down in that, and for people who love orbs, well, here you go, but it's probably just dust. Well, that about wraps up all the evidence that we found at Mineral Springs on May 31st, 2008. I hope you enjoyed it, and from everyone at Bi-State Paranormal, we thank you for viewing it.